For a long time, people have told me that Crystal Ball is an honest leftist. I never bothered to listen to her until recently. That's because I knew she's a lying sack of crap, which she is. I don't care that she hates Hillary. She hates Hillary because she's a communist who wants capitalism destroyed. I've never seen the press so united in its lies. What good is a free press when it becomes an arm of a political party? Putting the economy back to work isn't about Wall Street, Crystal. It's about workers, the people you pretend to care about. The government can pay everybody's bills until COVID-19 is no longer a threat, but that comes at the cost of there being no jobs at all. As a communist, Crystal refuses to accept reality. Her solution would be to have all Americans work for the government. The government would own all industries. Why does that never work? Because when all employment is guaranteed, people become slackers. Guess who had to help the Soviet Union with manufacturing during World War II? Capitalist countries. We had to give the Soviets weapons until the USSR got up to speed in manufacturing. The Soviets were unable to build their own strategic bombers. This is the Tupolev Tu-95 Bear, Russia's strategic bomber. Link in the description. It's a direct descendant of the American Boeing B-29 Super Fortress of World War II. You can see that the tail gunner position on the Bear was retained from the B-29. The Soviets captured three B-29s that forced landed in Soviet territory during the bombing of Japan. The Soviets so closely copied the B-29 that all the instruments had instructions in English. Gradually, the Bear emerged, but it's American technology. Not one communist economy is successful. China's products are garbage because of corruption. Leftist journalists said for years that the Chinese silkworm anti-ship missile made the U.S. Navy obsolete. In October of 2016, the Houthis of Yemen fired silkworms at American ships. When asked why we didn't fire back, the Navy said, because the missiles just flew all over the sky and then fell into the ocean. Finally, Obama gave permission for the Navy to destroy the missile launch sites. The Chinese Type 99A main battle tank was designed to defeat the American M1 Abrams. It's a bad joke. The thing is an engineering disaster. The sloped front of the turret, it's called a shot trap. A shot trap will cause enemy rounds to go down into the body of the tank. This is an elementary mistake. Chinese designers are half a century behind ours. The good news for us non-communists is that the Democrats made the election into a referendum on them, not Trump. Crystal Ball claims that the country actually supports Bernie Sanders, but somehow Sanders was forced out. She'll never admit that Sanders himself is what cost him the election. He promised economic devastation, and he showed himself to be weak and corrupt. But communists are impervious to facts. I missed nothing by not watching Crystal Ball. Her true character is coming out now, vicious and absolutely uncaring. All that matters is power. When the economy comes roaring back, watch all leftists lose their minds completely. They're going to be unloading nothing but invective. Why are you idiots supporting Trump? And they'll be using a hand truck to bring Biden out on stage. By the time Trump is reelected, Crystal Ball will look like a Halloween witch mask with blindingly white teeth. Leftists underestimate the rage that sane people feel. Re-electing Trump will be an even bigger raised middle finger than it was in 2016. In 2016, Donald Trump was an unknown quantity in terms of political accomplishments. 
Trump has been a wartime president since his inauguration. It was the world against Trump. The world never had a chance. Crystal Ball has no idea the miracles that Trump has pulled off. That's because she's vacuous. I simply can't grasp how people ignore the overwhelming odds Trump overcomes on a daily basis. He's already beaten COVID-19. There was no slowness to take it seriously. Tucker Carlson had nothing to do with anything. I said a while back that no black swan had the power to take Trump out. A black swan is an unpredictable event that is beyond what is normally expected and has normally severe consequences. Well, for Trump, there are no black swans. This was the mother of all black swans. But guess what? From foxnews.com, U.S. was more prepared for pandemic than any other country, according to Johns Hopkins. Was that luck? No. It was Trump. So ignore everyone else. Listen only to Trump. Period.